Hello, Katrina. Hi, John. How are you? Pretty good. Pretty good. So we're here. I told everyone we we're going to show them how to do uh, vinyl iron-ons. So show us a little bit. Okay. So what I did here, this we've got Santa Claus, and as you can see, Santa's a two-part iron-on. So we already did his beard, and then I did his glasses, and it takes 30 seconds of iron. So, like, how would you do it? Just put the so piece down like you that? put the piece down. I did his beard and his thing first, so 30 seconds I generally count. And easier then, than getting wrinkles out, right? Way easier than getting wrinkles <laughs> out. And you want to use um, your iron on a cotton setting. You don't want to use linen. It can be too hot with the white color. So, because it's too part, you do the face first. And then I did his glasses, and it's cool now. And you just peel it off. And if he... You notice it's starting to peel up a little bit from it. You just put it back down, iron it back on. I've used a lot of iron-ons in my day, and nobody makes them better than this company. Decorating your life is unbelievable. And so there we go. For those that maybe didn't see in the ad, I'm going to pan over to it again. We have more than just the hipster Santa Claus. You know, there's there's the pictures, but we've actually got uh, light bulbs, Christmas light bulbs. There's the hipster Santa Claus. With, with his belt. With his belt. Again, some iron on. Uh, we've got some snowflakes. And these are just our tea towels that we sell year-round. We've got new Christmas colors this year. We've got pumpkins here again, iron on. Little bats for Halloween. Dude, I, um... Katrina's apron. actually wearing an apron that we made. And this is a, a two-piece circle. Um, this one has been bedazzled. Really close on. You can see the little bedazzles on there. The picture of Tracy modeling the apron in the ad, we've, I actually sewed little red buttons on. Oh, cool, cool. So these are simple projects of everyone did Very here. Simple. It's an iron-on vinyl that we sell. Lots of designs, even every day. It's not all Christmas. Uh, you can have a coffee theme in your kitchen. Uh, there's there's lots of fun vinyls. Um, really easy. You just peel them off, uh, iron them on really quick, and it doesn't have to just be a tea towel. As again, there's mm -hmm. aprons. Uh, is there other kind of surfaces? Could, you could do it like on a quilt or just oh, regular cotton can fabric, right? Do all kinds of things. I've done them on wine bags. I've done them on burlap table runners. Excellent. Uh, banners that I've made. Lots and lots of ideas. So I don't. We have. Are there any questions out there? We we got to this point of the ad. We're we're open for questions. I see there's 13 of you, 14 of you watching. Any questions, comments? We'll give everyone a few minutes. I'm gonna put it back. I love the hipster Santa. That might be a gift that half my family gets this year. If you're listening right now, family, you didn't hear that. It would take you two two minutes. And the towels are normally three forty nine, but a lot of times they're on sale right now. It's buy two, you can mix and match, and you get, get one, one free. free. So there's there's definitely projects going on, not just for fall, but you know, get a little head start on those Christmas uh, uh, gifts. Oh, we got a question here. Uh, do they work on anything other than cotton? I think we kind of answered that. You said burlap, flannel's a possibility. Yes. Uh, um, the burlap takes about two minutes of ironing um, and you'll you'll test that as you go um, they have a website full of tips tips and hits and videos as well and that's decorating your life for everyone that is a partner that we're great vendor of ours decorating your life they supply most of our vinyl it's a, uh, company owned by women up in Bellingham oh. I got another question here it is uh, how do they wash? How do the vinyls hold up in the wash? Hold up beautifully. I'm sure you're used to dealing with some. They start to peel and crack maybe, and these are awesome. Excellent. Um, then I got a comment here. It says, Halloween towels, uh, exclamation point, smiley face. So, yeah, definitely. If, you're, if Halloween's your uh, holiday of the year, we, we've got decor for you down here. The beauty of these bats is you don't have to keep them in a row. I did one where I cut them into three separate pieces yeah and then you could spatter them around on right. the on the thing maybe even add them to the pumpkins you know you can mix and match yeah if you've ever used vinyl period on other services the iron on i, I would say is almost easier than the regular vinyl oh, way easier um and this you can see here with this snowflake there are four snowflakes and i only used three i did cut them apart yep so everyone can see that and i did stitch on some little ball fringe on the bottom of it 
black threads. You can't see how straight or crooked <laughs> I sewed unless you look on the back. Excellent tip. Well, everyone, I, I don't know. I don't know if there's more questions or not. I'll give it another 30 seconds or so. Otherwise, I think we'll sign off and hopefully we'll see some people down there. Again, this ad. Where's the front page? Front page? Oh, right there. This right ad there. right here just started today in our store. So every store, again, every store is uh, started today. It'll be out in the papers on Sunday. Check your local paper. And if you want a coupon, go to online, craftwarehouse.com. They're available on our on sale now page. You can see the full ad and get a coupon. And I did get another question here. It says, do you need a cloth or anything between the iron and the vinyl? You don't need any kind of a pressing cloth, but it, Elizabeth and the girls will tell you, if it makes you feel better, go ahead and use one. Okay. Mm. Again, another question says, can you buy the vinyl that isn't cut so that we can make our own? No. I think at the moment, no, we don't have the uncut, but I, we, we'll look into that because I you, know some vendors do sell it. You can um, use a double-sided fusible, put it onto fabric and run it through your um, Sizzix or your Cricut, whatever machine you've got. So oh, there you go, there you go. And uh, Diane said thank you for answering her question. You're uh, welcome. Angel says, uh, darn. I, I think I think Silhouette makes an iron-on vinyl. Maybe I'll, I'll uh, run over there really quick and uh, we'll post something on social media with that exact answer. Did you tell them that our iron-ons are 30% off? No, I did not, but that ah, is a good right point. There. And that's not just Christmas ones. It's our entire stock of iron-on uh, that are 30% off. So, again, another another great time to come in and try this. I, I'm not going to lie. This is a craft I can do at home. Uh, I don't want to sound bad, but I'm a, typically a guy. But I, I actually saw the hipster Santa in this store earlier in the week, and it's already on my Christmas gift list. So it's super easy, folks. Yep. Super easy. Well, again, thank you, everyone. Again, the ad starts. Check us out on uh, craftwarehouse.com. Uh, hit your local store. We're in uh, Gresham. We're in Salem. We're in Beaverton. We're in uh, Vancouver. We're in Hazeldell, which is North Vancouver. We're in Kennewick. We're in Medford. We're in uh, Meridian. And I think that's all eight of them. So, you know, we're all over the Pacific Northwest, and uh, we'd love to see you soon. And uh, thanks again for everyone's time.